Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sapphire Turner. I'm the owner and operator of Anointed Hands Creations here on YouTube, as well as Anointed Hands LLC business. So today, what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is these beautiful yarn uh, loop tasseled earrings okay and we're not going to be doing this color per se we're going to be doing this color here that you guys see okay so let's get into it first the materials that you're going to need is of course your yarn as you guys can see i have three different color yarns that i'm going to be using today okay i've already pre-cut my yarn already it's already pre-cut so this is actually 33 strands of the yarn okay it's different color all three colors 33 strands of this at 20 inches okay 20 inches so like i said before i've already pre-cut my yarn so when you're home I want you to do 33 strands of this yarn, okay? If you're gonna do three different colors, do three, do 33 strands of yarn at 20 inches long, okay? I'm gonna tell you why in a second. You're gonna have uh, pliers, all right? You're gonna need your two fish hook, all right, and a pair of scissors as well as your measuring tape as well, okay? And you can get all of these things at Michael's or either Joann's, okay? Or any arts and crafts store, maybe Walmart, they sell these type of supplies too as well. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna move all of this to the side because you don't need this right now. You're gonna take your yarn. You're gonna take your yarn. You're just gonna lay it out, kinda like that. I'm doing it the long way so you guys can see it. Okay. I've done a video before teaching how to do the, uh, the yarn, the looped, uh, yarn tassel earring I did it I think like 10 months ago something like that almost a year ago I believe and I got like eight over 8,000 views on that video and so actually that seems to be one of the most popular videos that I have made so far on my YouTube page so I wanted to come back and show you a bigger um, a bigger loop because I think the loop I showed you the earrings I showed you before were really small and this will be this one is going to be a bigger looped earring okay so just call just look at this as a jumbo looped loop earring all right so i'm just all i'm doing is just evening my strings out okay so what you want to do now is it doesn't matter what color you use what i'm going to do i'm just going to cut off another piece of string not a long piece but enough where you can put it underneath these strands and tie it okay so i've cut me another piece we'll move that to the side i've cut me another piece and now what you're going to do is you're going to take this string and you're basically going to put it in the middle move this up so y'all can see everything you're just going to put it in the middle of your 33 strings okay Go so like that, and then you're just going to pull it just to measure it and make sure it's even on both sides. All right, because right now it just looks like we're making a tassel for a curtain or something. All right, so if you've done that, and then you're just going to take it, you're going to tie it in a knot like that. I'm going to tie it again. right 
like that okay you hold this and then you just make sure you're separating the strings on one on this you know the strings on this side from that side all right and you're just gonna lay it down flat like that for a second okay now the reasoning why I did it this way is because the way I showed you guys before that was for a four inch uh, loop tassel earring all right and I want this loop to be larger and more bigger so this is the reason why I showed you guys how to do it this particular way okay now you can do all of them like this it doesn't matter there's always more ways to skin a cat like the old people used to say okay so this is just a different technique to do for your loop tassel earrings okay this is just a different way to do it all right so I've done that now you choose which color you'd like to use for your um you have to choose a color that you want to use to begin to wrap your loop, to make your loop, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and use this blue color, this pretty color here, all right? And I'm going to begin to just unravel it. Y'all, my yarn be looking a mess, okay? <laughs> it looked like a cat got to it because I be in here doing the most, all right? I be doing the most. And so I'm just unraveling to make it easier for me to begin to wrap. All right. So I'm just unraveling. Okay, so I've got my string together. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this side and I'm gonna go particularly maybe about one inch away from this here. All right, from this here. So just go down a little bit, about one inch. And you're gonna take your string, put it here, hold it in place, and you just begin to wrap, okay? Now try to keep this out of your way for right now. All right, so you just hold it in place, hold this piece in place, and you just begin to wrap around that okay might be a little hard to keep this out of your way but you just begin to wrap like so like that and try to wrap around this string to keep it in place so that it won't unravel okay Just continue to wrap and make sure that as you're wrapping, you're wrapping tight, not too tight, but you don't want it to be loose neither. You want it to look nice and professional, especially if you're going to sell it. Okay. You just begin to, to wrap. Okay. And to wrap. These are trying to come over here. Don't really worry about this because when we get to this, we're going to cut this off anyway. Okay. So just continue to wrap until you get to the middle. Nice and even. You don't want to overlap too much because you don't want it to be bulky in some places. Okay. So now that we've gotten to the middle where this is, where's the other piece at? Now that we've gotten to the middle where this is, we're gonna just take the scissors and cut that off. I'm trying to get up under there. this 
there we go so we've cut that off okay and then we're just going to continue on wrapping round and around they got all kinds of music playing in my background outside like shut up already Hope YouTube don't own flag. YouTube, that ain't me playing that. <laughs> Just continue to rap. Keep rapping. Your hands might get a little tired. You may take a little break. But you keep rapping. Keep rapping. So remember, we're going to make a longer. Oh, my hand hurt. We're trying to make a longer uh, loop, a jumbo loop, okay, where you can literally see through this loop. So, got to wrap a little longer. I'm going to continue to wrap. Okay. Okay, so I have reached uh, to where I am finished. So, I'm going to wrap it like this, and then I'm just going to take this string and I'm going to put it underneath this hoop this loop right here okay like that and then what you're going to do is you're just going to take it pull it like that secure okay and you can do that again if you want to make sure that it's secure and then you're just going to go to this side and do the same thing Going to take it you're just going to kind of make a loop where you can put this string through there okay and you just pull it pull it tight okay and there you go all right so it should look exactly something like this okay should look exactly like that and down, what you're gonna do now is you're just going to bring it together. And if you want, you can twist it, you know? You can twist it however you desire. You can do something like that. Or you can just do the regular way. Okay. Bring it to there. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to lay that there. And if you want, you can use uh, the same color to wrap it, or you can use another color that's on the inside of there. So I'm going to use this color to wrap it. All right. So you take another piece of string. Okay. You hold it like this in place, just like that, right? Hold it together, then you take your other piece of string and you just begin to hold it there. And you just take this piece, hold it back here, and you just begin to wrap it. It's up to you how many times you want to wrap it. It's as long as it's nice, neat, and professional. Okay. That looks good to me. Let's wrap it one more time. Okay. And then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut both strings like that. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to take it, flip it like that, and then just tie it in the back. Okay. This is the back of the earring, the part that's going to be actually on your uh, face. It's not... Okay, yeah, it's what this part is going to be in the back on your face, basically. Okay, tie it in a knot. And you can tie it again if you want to. All right. And voila, that is your earring. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to just comb out the tassel. And then we're just going to take our scissors and basically just... Uh, 
cut off the S S the extra string that's uneven. Okay. So just cut it evenly all the way over to the other side. Okay. Let's see here. Let me just see if this is the size I want it to be. I'm gonna cut it a little bit, a little bit more. Because it's kind of uneven. So we're going to cut that a little bit more. All right. Just make sure that that's even. Okay. And voila. Isn't that so cute? I love it. And so now what we're going to do for the grand finale is... Now, you can use a jump ring to put in here at the top if you would like and then attach this hook. But right now, I'm not using no jump ring. I'm going to just do it how I how I got it. I'm just going to use this. All right. So, you take your pliers, your jewelry pliers, and all you're doing is you're just opening this up a little like that. Okay, and you're going to take it and put it in the place where it needs to be. This is the front of your earring and this is back here. Of course, this is the back. So you want this to go like this. Uh oh, my ball fell off. So what you're going to do now is you're just going to take your hook and you're going to Put it in the middle of your earring. Okay. Just like that. It's just that simple. You put it like that. You turn it around. Okay. You take your pliers. And you just. Close this piece here. Y'all see that? How it's open. Just take your pliers. And you squeeze on it a little. This ball will stay out of the way. Yeah, you just mash down like that and you've closed it. Okay. And this is your earring. Isn't that super cute? That was really easy, y'all. It was nothing hard about that. That was so easy. I mean, extra easy. Okay. You didn't have to do no wrapping around the book, even though you can do it that way too, as well, if it's much easier for you. But I just wanted to show you guys a more simpler. A different way to do it okay and this is a jumble hoop jumble loop tasseled earring really super cute super stylish you guys know you can mix it with any color you want all right and this is the second one all right and I want I would like to show you guys something else that I have made created myself and I normally make the matching earrings to go to all of my bags that I make. All right. So this is particularly a bag. Let me see if I can zoom out. Just a little. Sorry, y'all. Just a little. Okay. This is a bag that I particularly made myself. It has tassels. It is a clutch purse. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys the inside of this purse. All right. This is the inside. I also put a lining on the inside of it as well. Okay. This is the inside of the clutch purse. Extra roomy. So cute, isn't it? And guess what, y'all? Guess what I... Listen, guess what this is made out of? Yarn. Acrylic yarn this is not that really soft yarn that fuzz up frizz up this is the perfect yarn for this project y'all listen they don't want no smoke with me i'm telling y'all not ready y'all not ready y'all not ready y'all not ready 
I even got the snap buttons on there. Like, can y'all believe that? And this is made out of regular yarn. Do you know how much you can... Child, y'all not ready. <laughs> so, this is made out of yarn. The same yarn I just showed you guys how to do uh, the earrings. Okay? This is the same exact yarn. Same exact color. Which is a beautiful set. All right, and then you got your beautiful earrings to go with that, and you walking in that dinner, like, hey y'all, and you got your nice, pretty blue, or, or uh, I don't know the exact color it is, y'all, but I would just call it like an aqua color, because I don't know. But you got your nice dress on, your heels on, your makeup done, and you got your cute tassel looped earrings with this clutch purse, baby. Listen, they not ready for y'all. They not ready. So, this bag is actually up on my website already, y'all. Go to Anointed Hands, LLC. Okay, Anointed Hands with a Z, okay? LLC.myshopify.com. I'm going to put even that link in the description. My store is already up here on YouTube, y'all. Check out my store. I believe I have already put this um, clutch purse inside of my store already. I'm going to go ahead and upload these matching earrings as well, okay? If you want to buy the set or one or the other, I prefer you buy both, but if not, that's fine too, okay? Um, yes, I do make these clutches, y'all. Listen, if y'all ever want a clutch, and then I can cut the fringes shorter too if you would like that, or you can get this clutch without fringes, okay? I do customized work for my customers, and yes, my products are selling okay if you don't like this color i can do three other colors for you guys if you would like a solid color bag or a solid color earring i can do solid colors it's to your liking okay and that's just listen let's get it i also want to show you guys this bag here as well i've already posted it on youtube but i just wanted to show you guys again all right I also, this is another clutch, okay, as well. And I've also made these matching earrings as well to go with this one, all right? So listen, y'all, <laughs> listen. Y'all better get y'all outfits, get y'all sets, get ready for the summertime, the summertime is here. Listen, bring them colors out, okay? Bring them colors out. Like, these are gorgeous. I twisted these ones a little bit. These are gorgeous, all right? So, like I said before, this bag is already up in my uh, store. I'm going to go ahead and add these earrings to it or as well. And if you guys desire to have anything custom made, holla at me on YouTube. All right, my social media, uh, I'm going to put my social media there as well. Even my email address if you want to reach out to me. Or just simply comment in the comment section and I will reach back out to you. Okay? So I'd like to thank you guys for joining my YouTube video. If you have not already, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video with your family. Share this video with your friends. All right? Listen, have a party, have a jewelry party, like get together and make some jewelry with your family and your friends, okay? And give me a shout out, all right? And if you share this video, just, just listen, get me out there, y'all, because I'm trying to expand, all right? And if you guys would like to sew, um, my page is eligible. I'm eligible now to receive gifts. If, if I've helped you in any way, form, or fashion, please... Uh, send a seed this way y'all there's no seed that's too big or too small I really would appreciate it because it will help me continue to purchase products so that I can continue to do videos for you guys you guys already know I love teaching I don't mind teaching y'all you know as I'm helping you I just ask you guys to help me all right so until the next video love y'all be blessed bye